Before we start, uh, I'd just like to say what an amazing group of speakers we've had tonight. Let's give it up for them. <laughs> All right. Ready when you are, Ed, wherever you are, I can't see you. Okay, so Christmas is going to be with us soon, and that means the obligatory board game set with the family. Um, people might get hurt, you know, people might start falling out with their family members. It's going to be a bit like Game of Thrones at Christmas or something like that. Um, and it's games usually like these that are played, you know, classics, timeless classics of games like this. But when I moved to Cardiff and started going to like uh, board game bars and stuff like that, there's a whole load of games that are out there. And I'm going to give you one example now of something I think, just to show how many games there are out there of board games. Now, Trump the game, and I quote, uh, this is, it takes brains to make millions, but it takes Trump to make billions. So, <laughs> presumably the objective is to build, build the wall before the Mexicans come and steal your wig or something, but you know, um, it's, it's that sort of thing. Um, there are loads of games out there, and you don't really know where, if you're a newbie like I was, then you wouldn't really know where to start looking, especially if games are really expensive and cost like an arm and a leg or something. So where do you start? Well, you need people to start off with. Now, preferably people, maybe friends who sort of want to get into it as well. Randoms, you know, random people, you know, it's, you know, they're great. As long as they don't try and kill you or have pliers like this guy, then it's great. Um, and you know, it might, you might think it's geeky, you might think it's for kids, you might think, oh, what's the point? But it's, it's you know, a thriving industry. And it's something that I think is becoming more you know, socially acceptable. It's happening all over the country. And um, I've got an, a bit of an article here, I can't really read it from here because my eyesight's crap, but um, basically saying that there's a 20% rise in trade, and that includes board games, that includes card games, uh, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing, all sorts of stuff. Uh, now, here's a good example. Who's played this before? I don't really need to explain this then, do I? Um, okay, so this is basically a game for people uh, with no moral compass and a questionable sense of um, empathy. Here's an example. Um, the Academy Award for not giving a shit about the third world goes to God. <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, that's the type of game I like because I'm a prick, apparently. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, uh, you might think, okay, what about, uh, so if, what about if I'm with my family? I don't really want to exchange violent sexual innuendo with my uncle. What are the other games that I can play? So I come up with a few examples. Uh, maybe you'll like them, maybe you won't, but we'll see. This is the sort of stuff I first started playing. Betrayal at House on the Hill. Uh, this is for people, uh, maybe they want to sort of star in their own version of Stranger Things, you know. There's a house, it's full of creepy shit, and you and your friends, you go in to check it out. Um, you take turns exploring this house, you put tiles down, and when the slide comes up, there it is, you put tiles down, you look for items, and eventually there's like a doomsday counter, and when that doomsday counter hits zero, then one of your friends turns into a sort of betrayer, or an asshole. Um, <laughs> And that's my favorite part of the game, I have to admit, because I love being an asshole. Um, it's, one of the f it's one of my favorite parts about it, because you get to make friends with these people, random people, your good friends, and then you get to screw them over, which is just <laughs> fantastic. Um, I've, lost my, I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, Dixit, okay, so this is a light, more of a light game, casual game, uh, but that's, it's a great game because you get to play, um, it's quite nice. So the concept is, You've got these images, and you have to say a word, and then the other people around the table have to just try and figure out what you're thinking. My example here is, uh, I would say this is Brexit. Um, this guy uh, looks a bit like the new uh, UKIP leader, actually. Um, but yeah, this is my image. Uh, London's on fire, he's eating buildings, whatever. Uh, Kickstarter is what made a lot of this possible. Okay, so I've got some stats here. Um, the most funded board game, probably over 200,000 people funded, nearly uh, $6 million for the top project. It's huge. This is one of the latest games to come out, and it's amazing. I really want this, and I've already put money into it. Bears versus babies. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I, I, I'm not even going to say anything else on that. I mean, I'm just going to leave the thing. Um, but you don't have to own a massive library of games like this. Uh, you know, there are board game um, cafes, bars all around the country. There are some great shops here in Cardiff and some events that go on as well. I really encourage you to seek them out because that means you don't have to spend so much money on this stuff and you only have to pay an entrance fee and then you get to meet random people and completely dick them over. So um, it's, it's great fun, honestly. Uh, I really encourage you to try it out. 
Um, it's something I did when I first came to Cardiff to try and meet new people, and it really worked out because some of them are in the audience tonight. And um, yeah, no, it's great. I hope they don't hate me for you know um, basically saying I screw them over and enjoy it. <laughs> so that was my talk. Uh, give it a try. If it's not your thing, then you know, so what? Um, but <laughs> 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 encouraging, isn't it? Uh, thanks very much for your attention. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah.